Storm, Fnatic couldn't quite find this champion yesterday <laughs> in the series versus G2, but they're going to pivot set into the... And they're also going to have Shove Tower, meaning that Canyon probably not going to be able to take this risk. Love it, Showmaker, from the inside. There's the final Ooh. chapter, and instantly the Yumi is taken down. Canyon now trying to get out. Has his Umbral Glaive completed, as well as another Serrated Dirk. Carrier standing over here, but uh, Canyon just going to be hex flashing around, seeing whether the Karma was going to go aggressive. You can see Deft at about half health at this point in time, as now they're looking to try and funnel some more gold into the Ezreal. It is important that the Ezreal is relevant at this stage of the game, as uh, Shelly going to get a charge, but the rest of Darmon are distracted, and Ghost almost gets taken down by one piercing arrow. Great face breaker from Canyon, but he's by himself, basically, only with the help of the Yumi there, as Showmaker not going to find the trouble bubble. That gets a fair bit of damage out with his paddle star, and now Trovi makes his way in. Of course, Redemption was picked up because, oh my god, there's the flash forward! Ooh. And Chobi's going to be able to lock down that kill onto Ghost in the end. Depth setting it up really nicely. Another ulti comes out of Showmaker. Also going to be taken down 3-0 so far for DRX. And I don't think that Cannon Barrage is going to do enough. And it looks like DRX now, they're going to accelerate this really hard as Canyon and yeah, Barrel. Final might chapter just go down comes here. in. Carrier trying to flash himself out of there, Barrel. Oh my god, these piercing arrows are doing way too much damage, and they're still going for the dive. A double kill for Deft. Pyoshik is going to survive, and they'll take down this turret. This is turning into game. Or are they going to really start to tighten up from this minute forward? You always have to remember Billy Joel world or anything like that, but this gentleman on your screen right here is Canyon looking for Death. Will land the ultimate. They're trying to take down Death, and they will do so. Is Canyon probably going to get stunned up for the moment, and yeah, Trovi able oh. to lock down. This ward over here, I don't think gave Darmon nearly enough information to be able to stop this. So it is going to be the cloud. Or DRX that would actually. I, I, I talk about this sometimes on, on the cast, right? Letting it die. Wraith Blade upgrade, and then you consider the fact that he has the Executioners, which is pretty good. And okay, well, a bit of a trade. Yep, free Drake. Block going as on. much damage as possible, and that's going to be really important in helping to mitigate some of the pressure that this LeBlanc is going to So have. they can find engages and actually succeed against this uh, Dumb One competition. Ulti's going to go down as Canyon just bursted out of nowhere, and the disengage is so easy. DRX now, with a minion wave they prepared earlier, are going to take down this turret in the mid lane and maybe continue to push forward. Yeah, Zoe trying to make some sort of a stand, but DRX. Oh, Chobi, too easy, gets the kill onto Showmaker there, Ghost, now with the help of the Yumi, should keep himself alive for the moment, but that Showstopper is not sh stopping the shows that Darmon wanted to, as that is going to be the triple kill, Chobi will grab another one, Kyoshik collects that one, and now Carrier will get the stun off, it's not looking like Nogri's going to be able to take down the Karma, as Doran trying to keep this gangplank at bay, Chobi turns up. Nogari does have a <laughs> lot of ability to stay alive. I mean, this death dance is doing a hell of a lot of work, but they will be able to take him down. That's going to be the ace. That, uh, Cloud Soul picked up. In fact, 30 seconds earlier. Was that one forced death onto Deft in the mid lane that looked very difficult to gather for themselves and didn't really stop Derax's push forward as Piercing Arrow lands on the Showmaker. Uh, yeah, Deft is very, very big. Deft is, uh, I mean... Um, yeah. you know, Chovy and Doran pretty strong as well. As now we're looking for the knockup on the Ghost. He's not going to be able to go anywhere. Flat forward from Doran, chains connect. And Chovy is, uh, trying to battle Deft for player of the game for this one. I have a feeling he might even be able to get over the edge as well, because you have to look at it. Deft is 100% of his team's deaths right now, and that's probably not good enough. If I was LS, I wouldn't be impressed. But these are Nexus turrets. I'm not going to have to worry about that one. They are just going to go down because the damage here from DRX is going to be too high. And game number one will be taken by DRX, who are waiting in round one of the playoffs. This is the team that got removed from set, set perhaps. Is it support set here on the bottom side of the map as Canyon's going to lock away Lee Sin? Top side with Canyon. And the thing that's so peculiar about this is that the wave is actually coming back into Doron if he wanted it to. And so Barrel might go for Flash Flash here. Yep. And uh, he's going to get hit by the Face Breaker. Eventually flashes as in goes oh! everyone. Block that Dragon X would have to wait to capture a soul unless Ooh. they just steal it. 
Yeah. Are you they just serious? With a Varus Q, is now Barrel's in trouble as well. Two man face breaker. That's a fantastic exhaust on the Ghost, who has to get himself out of there. And again, DRX have found the moment in the early game, and Carrier just going one versus one, still trying to find Ghost after he collects his flash. And Ghost can't wait under that turret because he is one piercing arrow away from dead as Showmaker throws out the flash. He has to land this paddle star, or does he? As he does have Ignite available to him. The Electrocute also going to help out as now Death lands the Chains of Corruption. Pyoshik is here as well. Only level five as he flashes over to try and find this Zoe. That flash is going to be collected as now Chobi flashing on forward finds the Ignite as Beryl. I don't think he's going to be able to find any of the Dark Harvest stacks here as it looks like he might just be one himself as Double kill. He's going to get turret plates. Talked about this even on the LCS broadcast yesterday. Cloud9 vs. FlyQuest. Teams do this a lot. They're going to get the top tier 1 turret. And all of those turret plates. Goron going to try to live here. Oh, Canyon misses the flash Q. And uh, Pyoshik does have ultimate available to him. And the turnaround looks, just looks too easy. Beryl puts his face in it and is not going to be able to break the faces of DRX here. It's two oh. kills. It looks like some tilt. But True Shot Barrage might be able to answer the side of the map. Uh, they're doing the same thing to death, bottom side, but you can see Ghost not going to be the lucky one here as he's just going to get taken down, Pyoshik. And right now, Canyon is moving down here into bottom. This is really scary for death, though. He's going to go down. Yep, he's uh, just gets a little bit greedy underneath that turret, as you can see. Had Chains of Corruption, just didn't have an option to actually use them. As Showmaker, he's going to get chained. Chovy under here. Rift Herald is going to be spawned, so this turret is certainly not long for this world. Doran up towards the top side, going to be able to get a few plates there for With himself. A 40 CS advantage. And uh, this is all being all about death to being all about Chovy, as uh, Doran's going to turn around this little engagement very comfortably. There's the exhaust on Denogri, and he's going to have to flash. The follow flash comes in. Stun on Doran, though, does deny it as the chains come down. But the Q is going to be good, and Doran's going to pick up that gear for Darmwan because the cannon slicing Maelstrom really does have to be respected. His ulti comes down from Pyoshik very, very quickly. Slicing Maelstrom are going to be channeled, but Nogri doesn't have the health bar for it. Haymaker comes in, Pyoshik. Time to in this game yeah, number this... two, 3,000 gold lead for DRX. As it looks like they're going to be able to, it's going to be really scary for T1 fans that are going to be waiting for this terrifying DRX in the next round of the playoffs. Because when you have oh. young players that play oh. emotionally like this, it oh. does get scary, but there's the steal from Canyon. He immediately dies for it. Can DRX actually find a team fight as... Oh, in goes Dora, and they lock down Nogri. He's going to get taken oh. out. As now Chovy from the backside is looking to try and answer. Showmaker and Ghost are still scary right now, but they just can't approach DRX. But still huge that Darmon were able to steal away that Drake. Yeah, Darmon being able to actually get that dragon via a steal was really important. I think DRX really cut themselves a little bit short by not trying to just run into Darmon and to being really overly safe, especially given that Zoe was on the right-hand side. Chovy would have been the one... I mean, Chovy did have first move towards left-hand side river, and that's a lot of... Oh, Ghost! Looking for depth here, he lands the Hail of Arrows, but it's a one-for-one, one, and you'll take Steal away any blue buffs by the looks of things, but Pyoshik has different ideas. Carrier lying in wait over towards the side as there's the Blast Cone, and Canyon oh. actually flashes but doesn't get the kick and will be taken down. Nogari finds himself a, a mantra for an Inspire, I believe, but isn't able to get too much more there as uh, Pyoshik eventually does fall down. Looking to try and pressure out oh. this outer turret in mid. Flash comes in, Carrier in a good position right here as the showstopper comes in. Ghost doesn't find any of his abilities though and Beryl going to get locked down. Nogri, can he get into position? Oh, the piercing arrow doesn't land from depth and Beryl is going to be... LeBlanc clean up. But then right here, pay attention. This is the LeBlanc clone. Stops the kick by Canyon. Oh, wow. Yeah, the untargetability as we have yet another fight. Doran is extremely low and he's just taken down instantly. They're going to juggle all the aggro and manage to just pick you apart. Here we go. Oh, another Nick key Doran moment. It is going to be locked down by Pyoshik. So there's Soul Point and Canyon immediately is taken down. Pyoshik is going to flack. He survives for so damn what? long as it's Carrier that's burning down. True Shot Barrage He's going to lock down the kill in the end as Nogari walks away with a sliver of health. And now Deft is being chased by Beryl. He was going on to five. Yeah. He was looking for that Dragon? next one. I think it's going to be pretty impossible for Dragon X to come back. 
Well, Ken is just gonna Hello? pop. Uh, Chovy is gonna huh? ignite him. The last tick is going to tick down, pick up that kill. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Chovy calculated that absolutely stunningly. And uh, yeah, Canyon didn't even have it. Flash, Chovy has distortion. The ball is uh, not in the stone. Okay, dragon. Yeah, he's up. got a stopwatch. He's gonna be able to use it as Nogre's gonna get taken down. Beryl into Ooh. the back line with the showstopper finds himself a stun. But Showmaker has to get out of there. Beryl unable to lock down the kill on to Doran in the end, who is kept alive by Deft Teal. What? I, 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 uh, what? Take it, it away. Is, it is gonna be taken. Um According to DRX, they thought... Well, I mean, now DRX do have that Baron. They're using it to push up, so they're at least extending their gold stand of thinking here by Dragon X. I, uh, I agree with you, though. I don't think it's really a good idea. It's like... I don't know, it reminds me of that episode of Family Guy where it's like you could have the boat, just straight up the boat, or you could have a mystery box that may contain a boat, you know? As our Chobi diving okay. on in. Uh, Pyoshik getting tagged by a Q, but it looks like the base is going to be broken in a couple of places right here. And uh, Chovy's continuing to look for this poke damage. This LeBlanc is terrifying right now. As Showmaker taken down to half health. Death also has to be respected as the ulti comes in from Pyoshik. But in goes Barrel into the backline, lands a three-man face breaker before going down. But the rest of his team unable to actually respond as Ghost gets himself out of the way. The Ignite continuing to tick down as Death taking the turret forever, but he is going to survive. Grabs the kill onto Ghost as well, as now Dalmon looking to try and put up their last stand. Chovy, he's one distortion away from a triple kill is what it feels like right here, especially with those piercing arrows landing. The portal jump's going to be good, not quite good enough, as Showmaker's still going to be taken down, and this, my friend LS, is going to be the end of game number two, and DRX will move to match point. They don't need the Infernal Soul. They, in fact, don't want Infernal Soul. It's going to make the game too easy for them as there pops the Lee Sin and the Nexus short to follow. 23 to 11 here at 32 minutes. And they are going to lock that one away. So Enchanter Support versus Enchanter Support. And we'll see what Carrier can do on his Morgana that is currently 100% win rate. Oh, yeah. And he might actually call the ram to try and get through. Not going to do so as he doesn't have flash. Remember, the searing charge comes in. Now the ram's going to come back. Lands onto Nogari pretty nicely. Now he's trying to make sure that Nogari's not going to escape. And Kyoshik gets in position and will be able to lock down that kill. Very nicely done. Position electrocution once again. On to Showmaker in mid lane as Kyoshik going to pay another visit to Nogari top side of the map. We don't have the Ornhorn, horn, but. There is going to be the Winter's Wrath landing oh. onto Nogari. The stun comes through. Doran maybe wants to find a couple of these auto attacks, but he was waiting for that flash to come out. Haymaker comes in as the smite comes forward. There's finally the showstopper as the Arctic Assault goes down and almost a kill as the Grit is doing so much work, but just not quite enough because of all the kills that have already come through uh, for Doran and Sejuani in the Cure Shakers. He takes down the Cloud Drake. Ocean is going to be coming up next. So we've got Mountain Soul or the Infernal Soul this game. It's okay, Chovy. Messing up just a little bit there, as you could see, and Ghost landing these Qs. Going to get sped up as well by the uh, by the Bard. And now Darmwon moved towards this inner turret on the top side as well. DRX not able to find what they were looking for. No, and now, okay, that is a Bard ultimate that comes out. Yeah, and doesn't really do anything in the end as the black shield is good on the death. Yeah, they're getting insane against yeah. Chovy and Domwon are actually sitting really pretty. Here's the ornament. Oh, or the yeah. Ornament. Yeah, the Orn Horn, as uh, Nogri does throw down the Haymaker. Doran has to flash to get out of the way as the ulti's going oh. to miss there from Canyon, as you can see. And Showmaker trying to get that kill, does pick up one on to Doran. As Yoshi going to get flashed after by Canyon, not able to find enough damage as he basically be a one-man army as this game gets later and later. As Deft is thinking about going for a one versus two, and he's just going to get stunned up. Not entirely sure what he was thinking there as the teleport does come through to try and save him. Fair bit of extra damage there as he will have to switch this sever to keep himself alive. The rest of DRX moved down through Drop Barrage goes wide. That would have been the kill on to Deft. Oh, as teleport! Now the onslaught, and now we're looking for even more. He'll come through, Death still with his flash available, Showstopper, unable to get the damage there as Nogri, taking three autos from Death here on the backside, and there's the Ornhorn, -horn, and it's just not enough with that Haymaker to lock oh. down that kill. The Ram, the copy avoided there by Death, but so far, it's a one-for-one -one trade as Showmaker has found Chovy off towards the side. And He's sinning right now, you can feel it.
Oh yeah, lying in wait here. Showmaker does have himself a uh, flash available as Nogari comes on in, not able to get the face breaker as Glasgow utilized by Trovi. He's running out of mana though. Oh! And oh, he just gets the kill under Showmaker and wonders. I mean, well, the collective probably think to themselves why, of course, that was going to happen as they already saw it. Yeah, they probably already knew. As, uh, that's a lot of damage. As, uh, Death trying to avoid Canyon here. Carrier not going to be so lucky as the Kingslayer comes through, but that's another kill for Little Miss Piggy. Another showstopper, but this show, it's uh, it's certainly not going to be one of the ones. No, they didn't start dragging. They didn't start dragging. Available. Dark Binding looking for Showmaker there as Kyoshik. He's able to tank this one up as. There goes Shirley in the mid lane, but there's the Ornhorn. -horn. The Ram knocks up three as Nogri down to half health. Fantastic searing charge. Gets some huge knockups there as Doran. He's on a magical journey to a 3 0 here as Ghost trying to get out of the way, but maybe it's not exactly the storyline that Doran was looking for. He had to flash defensively, but now Depp finding himself some extra damage with this Calibrum Crescendum combo. Pyoshik just being his bouncer. Of it. We saw what this composition is capable of as Chovy's just going to get murdered. Uh, by Showmaker. Two, you know, I'm not going to go on about it too long, Atlas, but Black okay. Cleaver with four sources of magic damage for teammates. As Chovy said uh, again. Chovy, yeah, it just dies. Option available, no. Chovy lying in wait in flanking position. Bubble going to go wide as now it's going to be a 50 50, but the Ornhorn has been picked up. Canyon oh. knocked into the sky. They are going to keep him CC'd, and that means that the Drake does go over to DRX, but now. Can the fight be actually won by Darmon as Nogari's off to the side? Fighting with Chovy has to flash defensively to get himself out. No yeah, one. Real, the Zoe, the Silas, the Set, etc. Would really just be super durable as hold on. Yeah, Horn on comes in, but there is a black shield there for Depp. Carrier goes golden. That will keep him alive. It's Kyosha getting into position and Depp. The amount of DPS out of this guy is insane, but the Moonfall is going to miss for now. Oh! Doran takes a very small magical journey in here as Kyosha's flashing after Barrel. The cannon Canyon does have some damage. Great searing charge for the double knockup, but Doran's very, very low. Kyosha as well. Depp now on the front line trying to get the damage back, but I don't think he's going to be able to. As in on the back line, it is the set teleporting in and grabbing. Grabbing the kill on Miss Piggy. They set up the cannon and Canyon's in trouble. As oh. Chovy, he darts on forward, picks up the kill on the Bard. Cosmic Binding was good, but it's not going to be anything if you're in the death chamber. And Nogari just takes down going a to miss. Is now Chovy going to be able to let the rest of his team know that that is now on cooldown as he looks to try and turn it on to Showmaker, taking a fair bit of damage back as De Adept gets tagged by the True Shot Barrage. And this might give Darmon the opportunity to secure this. Moonfall comes in as it is taken down by Canyon. We've got two drakes apiece, but do we have a team fight? As the Ornhorn comes on in, they're looking to try and lock down Nogger, who flashes out of the way. Out of the way, there is Teleport to try and get out of this one. A Searing Charge. Oh my goodness, the little boulder is going to be enough as the Showstopper comes in. Doran does have himself. His uh, Gargoyle Stone Plate, but it's not going to be enough to keep him alive. Is now Death trying to fight against Noggery, but I don't know whether he's going to be able to do it. The pesky minion's getting in the way, but Gravitum comes up clutch. He's in 600, and now Darmwana thinking about trading Soul Point for the Baron. But the Drake goes down very, very quickly. Carrier with a bit of a late Black Shield. But this you can is actually Darmwana good for DRX, this angle. Done. Yeah. Horn Horn comes in defensively. Out of Canyon, it is just going to go wide oh. as it looks like Kyoshi's okay. trying to get over here. The Tempest Paint is going to do it as Canyon. He lets the Baron go down to 50 health, but in the end, able to secure it. And now Doran off to the side. Nogari really knows that they just want to disengage, but no, they try and turn it around as the Aphelios is doing massive amounts of damage, but there are so many stopwatches to try and lock this one up. And Depp finds himself one man against the I world. think this is going to be the end of the game, Atlas. Is oh, oh, oh. Uh, Beryl is dead. Oh! Uh, Showmaker might be dead too. Doesn't land the bubble as Nogri getting taken down very, very low. Can Deft actually do it? Can't even go golden in time to keep himself alive as Darmon eventually get the ace. Having a look at the death time as it is late in this game and Darmon should be able to win from this point. And it looks like Darmon will be able to take this game and bring it to at least the game number four as this time they were able to remain It's going set. to be the question. Is Beryl back on the Bard once again? And the poke flavor coming out of Darmon's composition is just eating a really bad trade there as the rest of DRX are taking down this Ocean Drake at six and a half minutes in the game.
The depth with the minion advantage is going to be out of The amount of pressure that Nogger is absorbing this game is just insane. Yes. As our, there's the ulti out of depth, able to land a lot of damage, and Beryl is going to give first blood over to the Varus. Dragon yep. X certainly doing it absolutely fine. Chovy 20 CS ahead in a melee versus range matchup as our Canyon has found Doran, and Doran's probably going to have to flash. He's not even going to have the opportunity to do so as Nogger is bleeding. However, Chovy's doing really good in mid lane yeah. against Zoe, and so... As Beryl, not sure why he stunned up the turret there, maybe tr trying to deny a turret plate, I'm not sure whether he actually did, as there's the flawless duet as it lands onto Canyon. Can they actually get it before the ultimate? The answer's no, and Canyon just locks no, down... Varus is near the no, he's not Thank anyway. You. Yeah, so it's going to be very comfortable. Cloud Soul once again. And uh, Carrier goes golden for some reason. Canyon down here towards bottom side. Just looking to try and defend as Depth and Carrier looking for this next turret play. Another Dark Binding lands as Beryl's going to go down to the Tormented Soil. Monomune already. Don't know how close to... Oh, man. Yep, this Paddle Star is going to hurt, but avoids... Well, the ultimate was avoided there by Canyon. Permafrost is going to come in, though, but not before that kill actually comes down. Great knock-up there from Doran, but the portal jump is going to mean that Showmaker avoids that CC. Knock-up from the Searing Charge, but it looks like Doran's still going to fall down as Nogger grabs it with a Shock Blast. Chovy clears out the minions, and Carrier does land a really nice Dark Binding as the Magical Journey gets Beryl to safety. And DRX, they just don't have the damage or the manpower to lock this one down, and Nogri looks like he's literally shooting fish in a barrel. Yeah, and basically what's happening here is, like, Chovy can't manage to find any sort of an opening in Doran. 16 and a half minutes ticks over. We've got a minute until that Cloud Drake that we were talking about is Doran once again. Still, Ornhorn is available, and there's Chains of Corruption landing onto Canyon. He's going to try and flash away. The Ram is going to land, but it's not enough damage. As Ghost's able to avoid a lot of that, Paddle Star does so much work. As now Nogari, once again with the Shock Blast, is very scary. And there goes Chovy, trying to find Ghost, but Magical Journey gets him out of the way. Pyoshik going to get body blocked and flashes to get himself over. Meat Slap, not enough, as now Showmaker finds himself a Blade of the Ruined King. And Chovy, the flawless duet, doesn't do it. Brambleback, actually, saving the life of the Aurelia. And now Doran just trying to be a meat shield here for DRX. But the damage has been done. Darmwan poked them out and should be able to take this Drake as True Shot Barrage. Not going to take down Pyoshik there. Oh, oh, Carrier! Okay, never mind. Whoa! He Hits stole the Aurelia, trying to build Blade of the Ruin King. And interestingly enough, that's good synergy with the Varus because Aurelia does Barrel's get dead. in. But honestly, if you're DRX, just give it up. Get to that Infernal Mask on one. Get to the Black Cleaver. Get to the next Lethality item. It's only 10% CDR on an ultimate. It is not worth losing Summoners over. Yep. When you're so... Oh my god, okay, Jovi. No, sorry, Showmaker. Use it around this mid-game. And uh, there it is. Cloud Soul. Cloud Drake finally picked up Black by Dark. Sacks. And that's valuable for the Varus, who is the Lethality Varus, because he's going to be raining arrows as Aurelia's frontline as... Okay, Doran. Well, old team going to be thrown back there as the Rek'Sai just exploded. Doran got... The Tempered Fate does come down, but now Chovy is getting control Ooh. of this fight. Showmaker picks up Azonias, doesn't have to use it just yet, but Darmon Gaming are on the run. Piercing Arrow, Ooh. flash forward, Showmaker presses his buttons, but it's not over yet. So the Comet comes down, the next Piercing Arrow, enough to deal with the Zoe, and now there's barely any defense for Darmon. There's only the bottom laner left standing, and D Dragon X, they waste no time. They've started the Baron already. And well, Chovy now is, it, I mean, he's the commander in this game on the Aurelia. He's so oh, scared. Oh. Landed. Ghost is going to be able to take down Carrier, but he has to sacrifice himself for it. Feels very similar to the KT game, where it was Ghost putting himself in harm's way. Around as well as DRX with their Baron buff, using it to take down this out of turret in mid lane. They'll claim themselves the gold lead, finally, in this game. Thinking about starting a fight, potentially, as Searing Charge gets Doran out of the way. Doesn't take too much damage there either. Another Bellow's Breath, and he avoids all of the CC. And DRX now just moving into the mid lane. This is uh, some pretty clean macro play coming out from these guys, and they should be able to have inside track. Probably should be able to take this turret down, and they do so in a few auto attacks. DRX are going to be able to get themselves to that sole point, like we were talking about, as our True Shot Barrage attempts to still quite pick the right angle. Does Pioshik? 
is now with one minute left on the Cloud Drake. Ghost goes down extraordinarily low. It's another piercing arrow away from a dead Ezreal. As Carrier does find the binding onto Showmaker, who cleanses it. He's trying to get himself out, Doran having to flash the wall. Flawless Duet comes in, Canyon goes golden. Is now Showmaker back on his portal jump. But there's the Vanguard's Edge. The Orn goes down, but can DRX actually find the team fight? Shovi is saying yes, as now he darts into the back line, looks for Showmaker as goes. Oh, that dark binding very, very close there as Shovi continuing to chase forward as Showmaker goes golden, oh. but he should be taken down. The Varus locks up the kill. Barrel goes down as well as the Blade Surges like he wants to bite off anything more than he could chew and Toby's actually just gonna let it go away Nuggery Yep, Nuggery coming down. There's the Vanguard's Edge once again, and Chovy does go golden. There's the Orn Horn to try and get some backup as Chovy is eventually going to fall. So that is one of the Because, of course, he has... He's a very tanky boy, so that mitigation is going to be there. But so far, it's a negative Baron power play, and that's good. And that will mean this inner turret is going to fall. So that will equalize things out. Nuggery might actually just be able to take this. Remember, he does a lot of damage. Six item Jace yep. is going to tear apart this turret. Searing charge, not enough, and Nogri, like we were talking about, able to take down on the bottom side, an impossible decision for DRX. And Darwan, they've made it they to the Cloud Soul. Soul. Yeah. Yeah, it's not exactly the most valuable, as uh, Pyoshik thinks he might have found Ghost on the back line, but the Flawless Duet doesn't find anyone. Canyon trying to dive out of there. He should be able to do so as the real fight is happening on the bottom side. Nogri flashing after Doran. As Kyoshik just going to fall down, Great Dark Binding is going to land as Nogri is going to be able to pick up that kill as we expected. Goes down to half, Chovy fighting after Barrel, flashes back over his magical journey as Carrier going to go golden and Showmaker flashing out of there. Carrier looks for the Soul Shackles, doesn't find it. As now Chovy with a last little bit of this Black Shield is going to follow Barrel once again and he's just kiting him around. Depth trying to find Canyon, will put him they down got it, into though. his GA, but yeah, Dom one should be able to just take down the base. Ghost has teleported in and Depth cannot make his way back. This Nexus is going to be taken down and now it's match point for both teams as Darwin bring it validate the Olaf Nautilus and the Aurelia yeah the Olaf absolutely hates the giving again that much respect over the set <laughs> Yeah. A lot of damage behind that one at the moment, but Nogri is teleported in. And now Depth just realizing that he has to try. Oh, oh my god, he's able to do it! And now Nogri! Free once again. And Doran gets a control ward into this brush, and now Chovy is in position. Oh. Finds the bubble onto the piggy. Changing up the Azir build path quite a lot, but actually. It is going to mean that he's likely to spike very close to uh, that time that you were talking about. Nogri not going to be hit by that flawless duet, but the Chilling Smite is going to come down. Undertow's now landing as another Blade Surge comes in. You know, my, my glass is often half full. As Doran over here, soaking up turret plates where he can. Pyoshik once again going to find his way forward. Nogri, no flash, remember. It's Pyoshik just going to start this one up. Blade Surge is going to be there as Pyoshik happily tanking up the turret and uh, Nogri has hit that 0-2 power spike maybe a little bit earlier than he would have wanted. Well, it does seem like Nuggery is sort of falling apart. Another bubble, but not going to find Showmaker, who does, of course, have cleanse, so he'll be all right. The, Go team. Fight. the game will end. Well, Depp does have Moonlight Vigil available. Throws out the Q, but they are going to lose to get a little bit of extra control. Bubble is going to form a wall, but Shifting Sands gets Showmaker over there. And now DRX continue to stay in for yeah. the recall. Chovy does have a large lead. Doran once again, picking up local gold for a B5. But they don't have Emperor's Divide. Great Bubble is going to block off the entrance there. This is scary. This is very scary for both sides. Showmaker oh. is very, very low. Bubble not going to quite land. But Depth, he's at full health. Now looking for the oh. front line as Chovy just pops the Tarek. He didn't have the ulti, but this is going to mean Soul Point over to DRX. And now also has a minion wave that is just going to get taken down by that turret. And so that's... No, more... Chovy doesn't have flash. Yep, there's the flash ulti, but Canyon not going to be able to find the Zoe. No flash available, as you can see, but the trouble bubble will land. There's the Emperor's Divide. This is really scary. Pyoshek does have ult yeah. available, but Tarek ult Moonlight too. Moonlight Vigil available as well as Death able to get a lot of AoE damage, but the Baron is taken. My god, this Aphelios is tearing Don one apart. And it's a triple kill instantly for Doran now. It should probably be cast now. And then have it end up finishing. But he never casts it. And 
Dom one, they are gonna be in a pretty good position prior to this coming up thing. It's not Ooh, like goes, it's tagged. Ooh, oh, they got yep, there's the dive. Kind of burst it down and hail Mary this, but oh yep, man! They're going for it. And there's the Vanguard's edge into the back line. Chobi is going to try and put Canyon to sleep, who finds the glacial prison on the door, but he surges his way out. And so far, this is a one team fight, but a double kill for Chobi Beryl trying to run out as Noggery's going to fall. The Drake was secured by Darmon, but. Uh, so. The TP is onto the mid turret, and I guess they do this because they need the excess damage from the Aurelia. Canyon's gonna try to be the gatekeeper. He's gonna push yeah. the minion wave back. He's gonna try to, but I don't know whether it's going. available for Darmon. Nogre splitting on the bottom side, has teleport. And Carrier in from the side. We're gonna try and get uh, Canyon out of here, has CC'd him up they are going to be able to take down the Baron. Canyon, a very late flash into this pit, is going to be taken down by Death. It's now Doran flashing oh! on in. Oh, the Cosmic Radiance is not enough. And Doran just jumps on top of them. Pyoshik and Chovy grab the kills there as Noggery once again finds himself the last man standing. As this time, he doesn't <laughs> have the Baron. And uh, yeah, Carrier is saying, I'm sorry, mate, but we have won this game. Is going to stop that back eventually. Carrier going to get punished for it, but... The biggest punishment is going to be on Noggery as he is not going to be able to find the win this game. Not going to find the reverse sweep for Darmon Gaming. And TRX have earned their bout against T1. But Darmon damn sure made them work for it after a first two games that were not close. And that 